Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET New Corporation. In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to change control panels within .NET Nuke. Now, starting in .NET Nuke version 5.4, both of the community and the professional edition, a new control panel was provided called the ribbon bar control panel. This replaced the older format called the icon bar. Well, if you are if you've upgraded your .NET Nuke site from an older version of DNN prior to version 5.4, then the icon bar would be your control panel selected by default. So you would need to change to use the new ribbon bar control panel. Now in a previous video we actually went through and demonstrated and discussed the various features of the ribbon bar control, control panel. But in this video I'll show you how to switch between the ribbon bar and the icon bar control panels. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to our .NET Nuke website. Now in order to change a control panel in DNN you're going to need to be logged in as a host or a super user account. I'm already logged into this .NET Nuke 5.6.0 Professional Edition install and I'm going to go to the host menu to the host settings page. Now I could also access the host settings page by going to the host tab in the control panel assuming that I'm using the ribbon bar. Now if I scroll down to the bottom of the host settings page there is an other settings section. Now the first setting in the other settings section is the control panel option and we should be able to choose between the icon bar and the ribbon bar options. Now if you've upgraded from a really old version of .NET Nuke over time you may have a third option there as well. But it's simple to come in here and make a change choose the control panel that you would like to use and go ahead and click on update at the bottom of the page. Now because this is a new install for .NET Nuke in order to actually update my host settings I need to be sure that I provide a host email address so I'm just going to type one in here so that it doesn't prompt me to, to change that before I click update. At the bottom of the page I'll click on update and that will change the settings for my control panel. And we can see at the top of the page now we're using a different control panel. This was the icon bar that was originally available in earlier versions of .NET Nuke. So we can use the icon bar or we could switch back to the ribbon bar control panel by going once again to the bottom of the page, choosing other settings, and then changing from icon bar to ribbon bar. Now the control panel is a setting that will be changed across all portals in .NET Nuke so if you have multiple websites running on DNN changing the control panel will affect or impact all of those websites. Hope you found this brief video to be useful. If you'd like more information about our .NET Nuke training program please feel free to check out the .NET Nuke training page on .NET Nuke.com underneath the resources tab. You can also use the shortcut URL he located here on the screen. Remember that URL is case sensitive. We offer a variety of free videos, instructor-led webinar training, as well as custom on-site and online training options. Again, this is Chris Hammond with the .NET New Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.